<gasps> Whoa! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Game of Thrones, Season 2, Episode 5. And there is a whole bunch of stuff going on, but the only thing that I could think about, and the only thing that I'm, like, most intrigued to see what's going on is the Red Lady gave birth to Venom. I know. Like... When the thing, like, grabbed onto her legs, like, we were just watching the, um... Previously. previously on Game of Thrones. It was like, dude, that's totally Venom's hands. Like... Like, seriously? Like, that was... I, I want to see what the hell that thing is going to do. And it makes me a little nervous. What do you mean a little nervous? It makes <laughs> me a lot nervous. Everybody's like, going to die. Like... Stannis has like apparently the ultimate weapon in, in his back pocket with her and it's just like Yikes, like, I don't or care. A, or a front pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how many numbers you've got. We've got venom a giant venom Gonna friggin clear you out that it's stored in my yeah chicks womb. She gave birth to venom Unbelievable, but whole bunch of other stuff going on very excited to hit the mid that we're basically at the midpoint for season two now once you finish How many this. more seasons to go? Like 14. Ah, no. <laughs> you ready to jump into yep, it? Yep, I got All my right. notes. I'm ready. Let's go. My son has no interest in the Iron Throne. I see no reason for hostility between us. The Starks will have dominion over all lands north of Mount Caitlin, provided he swears me an oath of fealty. The wording of this oath? The same Ned Stark swore to Robert 18 years ago. In the morning, I'll destroy my brother's army. When that's done, Rathian and Stark will fight their common enemy together. You don't know that like this crazy demon thing is coming though. I know, man. I'm like, uh, Our two dude, she's huge. Gwendolyn Christie, everyone let reminded me. To reconsider this Captain Phasma. No, hell no. <gasps> Whoa! What the hell? Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude! She is a beast! I love her all day. But what the... Oh my god, how... It's like the first minute of the episode, he's dead. They'll hang you for this. No. I won't leave him. You can't avenge him if you're dead. Go, 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 run, run, run. I can't believe Renly is dead. Just like that. I, I, I can't. I feel sick. People ain't joking. Nobody is safe in the show. Nobody. Who gained the most from our king's death? Stannis. I will put a sword through his righteous face. It would have been a true king. A good king. Tell me, Sir Loris. What do you desire most in this world? Revenge. You can't avenge him from the grave. Seems to be the theme. Bring the horses. Did he ever plant his seed? Oh, I don't think so. She's not gonna be pregnant with this king's baby. Calling yourself king doesn't make you one. And if Renly wasn't a king, I wasn't a queen. I want to be the queen. Oh. Oh. Is that a rival for C Cersei? I just think she wants to attach but herself to whoever is gonna be the king. Somewhere. Stannis Baratheon is coming for us. Sooner rather than later. Oh, there are other things you should be doing, like sealing my daughter in a crate so you can ship her away. She'll be safer indoors. We need to be ready. No need to concern yourself over it. The king is taking personal charge of siege preparations. She's making wildfire. They have thousands of pots already stored in their vaults. They are planning to launch it from the city walls into Stannis's ships and armies. Please. Oh, Lancel, tell my friend Bronn to please kill you if anything should happen to me. Oh. Please kill me if anything should happen to Lord Tyrion. 
Everyone needs a friend like Braun. Seriously. You come to lecture me on truth. I come to tell you that what I saw. All my brother's bannermen have come to my side. I'd want to know what the hell that what that was too if I saw that shit climb out of her friggin' lady parts. Lady parts. Hashtag lady parts. Once Blackwater Bay is clear, we we'll deliver our troops to their doorstep and take the city. And will you bring Lady Melisandre with you? If you take King's Landing with her by your side, the victory will be hers. I never thought I'd have reason to doubt your loyalty. Was I wrong? We set out for King's Landing without Lady Melisandre. Wow. They're going to do it the old-fashioned way, huh? That line of yours you keep going on about? Well, I've never actually been able to kill people with it. <laughs> Good thing. I'll be out of a job. <laughs> Brother fornicates with sister in the bed of kings. Are we surprised when the fruit of the incest is rotten? Yes! A rotten king! I agree. Same. Rotten king. <laughs> Dude, does everybody know? Seems that way. He's talking about you. Oh. What? <laughs> Demon monkey? People think you're pulling the king's strings. Demon monkey. He's a demon monkey. All the names they have for like the little dude is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the short dude. I don't think I like him anymore. Uh, he's struggling with things. It's kind of a lot. You oppose the Starks, you ain't my friend. I have been reaving and raping since before you left Balon's balls. Oh. Don't reckon I've got much use for your ideas on how to do it. If he slices his head off, he'll gain some points back in my good graces. Well, that's what I was expecting. I was like, okay, take your sword out, chop his head off. No. As soon as Winterfell got word that we'd taken Torrin Square, the Starks would send their men to take it back. What has he got brewing in his little brain? The Starks have overextended their lines. We've underestimated the Stark boy for too long. He has a good mind for warfare, his men worship him. But he is not going to fail. Not without our help. Go. Where are you from? Uh oh. Maidenpool. And what is their sigil? A red salmon. I think a maiden pool girl would remember that. You're a northerner, aren't you? And what do they say of Rob Stark in the north? They call him the young wolf. They say he rides into battle on the back of a giant dire wolf. <laughs> they say he can turn into a wolf himself when he wants. They say he can't be killed. That's what they say about Rob. Just held my breath for that yeah. whole shit. Oh my god. One thing I can't get out of my head was was Tyron in Last Action Hero. Tyron? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A, yeah, okay. Good thing uh, they get quizzed on all the other areas. Right? A boy becomes a girl. I was always a girl. And I was always aware. That dude was from the cage, right? I should have let you burn. The red girl takes what is his, lovely girl. You saved me and the two I was with. You stole three deaths from the red god. Speak three names, and the man will do the rest. Oh. Okay. The one who tortures everyone. A man needs a name. They call him the Tippler. That is enough. Wow, saving them is gonna give her something that she wants, huh? I kinda like this guy now. He's freaking me out, but, and he's real scary, but, I don't know. Beautiful, isn't it? Gilly would love it, eh? There's nothing more sickening than a man in love. Keeps talking about that Gilly. I feel like it's gonna... Bite him in the ass? Yeah, but I don't know now because they left. Yeah. Unless she somehow packed away with them. Somehow. What do you think they were like, the first man? Stupid. I think they were afraid. I think they came here to get away from something. I don't think it worked. That's terrifying. One blast is for rangers returning. Wildlands is two blasts. And three for white walkers. I read it in a book. 
All together oh. now. We'll live another day. Hurrah. <sighs> He's so negative Nancy. Hey. Wouldn't you be? Yes, I'm just saying. <laughs> Look where they are. I know, but every single time that like Sam was like, "Yay!" he's like, "The substance burns so hot it melts wood, stone, even steel, and of course, flesh." The jars are put in catapults and flung at the enemy. How much do you have? So if this stuff burns through everything, how is it contained? Day and night. At 7,811, enough to burn Stannis Baratheon's fleet and armies both. This is a shit idea. You won't be making wildfire for my sister any longer. You'll be making it for me. Whoa. How do you transport that stuff? Right? What if you spill it? You're screwed. The cop. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, this is like the coolest. He cooks his own food. <laughs> yeah. You would look like a real princess in Zara. She's not a princess, she's a Khaleesi. Okay, damn. Malako says the statue is too heavy to carry. <laughs> <laughs> they want to jack that thing? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> on behalf of the warlocks of Karth, I welcome you. Guy doesn't look creepy at all. A demonstration. Look closely enough, and you can see yourself in them. Often more than once. What the hell? She's like, what the hell? Ah, I feel the same. You watch over her. I know you. Oh. Jora Mormont of Bear Island. I'm no one, but she is the mother of dragons. Fire is power. No. Power is power. It's waiting for the... Once you're safely back amongst your own people, will you give me leave to go, my lady? I swore a vow. But Stannis has a great army around him. His own guards are sworn to keep him safe. You serve nothing and no one by following him into the earth. When the time comes, I will not hold you back. Then I am yours, my lady. This is pretty awesome. I will shield your back. I swear it by the old gods and the new. I vow that you shall always have a place in my home and at my table. She's gonna and make me I cry. Shall ask no service of you that might bring you dishonor. I swear it by the old gods and the new. That's awesome. That was a good one. That was real good. Torrin Square is under siege. Torrance Square is barely 40 leagues from here. We have to help them. Well, most of the fighting men are away with Rob, but I can gather 200 decent men. Take the men you need. Won't take long, my lord. Southerners don't do well up here. Bran is awesome. So young and already like... Ten times better than Joffrey. Joffrey yeah. can suck it. Bran should take over it's everything. It's not even close. I dreamt that the sea came to Winterfell. I saw waves crashing against the gates. Crabbed were floating here. In the yard. The sea is hundreds of miles away. Otherwise, they'll put me in chains. She seems a little weirded Washington. out by that. The three eyed raven. This is all bad. This is all bad. Lord Commander, I'd like to join Lord Corrin. It was Stuart Snow, not a ranger. He fought and killed the white. He's the one. Aye. I hope you make a better ranger than you do with Stuart. John finally got his wish. I know, but he, look, he's like, all right, go, my son. <laughs> like, I'm worried so about you, boy. Tell me, what do you want? To cross the narrow sea and take back the Iron Throne. Why? Because I promised my palace I'd protect them and find them a safe home. The Iron Throne is mine, and I will take it. The only thing that can open this door 
is this key. All I have to do is marry me. That was a romantic proposal. Our children will be princes and princesses. See? It's a good proposal. I have more ambition than you thought. Robert Baratheon is dead. She do not know. If you cross the sea with an army, to see you on the Iron Throne. Why? You have a good claim, a title, a birthright. You may cover it up and deny it, but you have a gentle heart. There are times when I look at you and I still can't believe you're real. Wow, okay. Is he in love with her? Kind of sounds that way. I mean, you're so awesome, I don't think you're real. No! I do see it. Oh shit, he did it! Wow. <laughs> Dang. Two more. Who else are you gonna pick? Right, are we gonna hang out here or <laughs> we're going to find those people to kill? Yeah. I need to know his name. Who, the guy in the... The guy that just killed the tickler. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't need, know I they... need to know. I'm sure they'll let us know. I'm sure you'll let us know. Yeah. Another really good episode. Holy crap. It was. This is getting so Does intense. Does it seem like you're going by faster? These episodes, I think because there's so much going on and it's so... It's kind of like, fast-paced, this, this last one. I feel like all these episodes are fast-paced. Just because of how much is what's going on, there really isn't a lot of downtime. And when there is downtime, you've got to like really pay attention. Yeah, to those conversations. So I feel like it's it does definitely go quickly. Because that was like 54 minutes and it went like a half hour. And right off the bat on this specific episode, we saw Renly die. I thought he was... I had high hopes for him. So did but, I. But again, that's like the warning that everyone keeps telling us. Don't get too connected to anybody because whenever it, they, they don't... I know, I don't want to, I don't even want to say what my favorites are anymore. Yeah, exactly. I mean, other than Tyrion. Like, I really thought that he had some high, high potential to be a good leader for whatever he ended up leading. But yeah, that's not the case because Venom showed up and just poked him right through the heart. Yep. Jesus. Pretty crazy. Yeah, boy. And it looks like Daenerys is getting closer and closer to getting what she needs to get into, uh... King's to get Landing. Home, yeah. So she wants the throne. Everyone wants to. Not everyone. A bunch of people Rob want. Rob does not want. Rob it. does not want it, but a bunch of other people do. It's going to be really interesting when they're all. I have to imagine they're all going to show up around the same time because they're all going there to go take it over. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see when and if that ever happens. But uh, yeah. Anything else? Nope. All right. That'll do it for episode five. five. Episode five. Like, every one of these episodes is like, what? <laughs> There's always something that's just so cool. So, as always, leave those comments down below. We will get to them and see them at some point. Moderators, we love you. And uh, like, subscribe, go become a sticker. Join the family. It's growing and growing every day. We're so appreciative. It's pretty amazing. We'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. For our extended reactions to Game of Thrones, check out our Patreon in the link below.